Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Nerds from Canada Let's Play Infinity Wars series. We are going to be concluding our series with the Sleeper campaign, which starts here. So let us begin. A once thriving civilization, no war or conflict, no crime, nor prejudice, no sickness or famine. The utopia which was Avarok. And now it's overrun by beasts. We have patient zero and we are the undead. Alright. Yeah, turn three. So we'll start with our endless. And turn. One of many. Infectious zombie. So we'll play two infectious zombies and put this one out to defend with and in turn all right our endless horde so we'll put out an endless horde and bring out both of these to now let's defend with our zombie that will kill this and give it to us. We'll let the next one go ahead and hit us and then continue. Save our next infectious zombie to pick up one more of the beasts. Alright. We lost our zombie but we picked up one of many. So let's put out the endless horde here. Let's put out or pull out two of our endless hordes from here and end our turn. They get a little bit through, but we'll be able to kill that next one with our infectious zombie. So when we put the infectious zombie out, we put out the one of many. Uh, we'll put out an endless horde. And put out an endless horde. Then we will put out that. And fill the graves. We will play this card because it should put a bunch of endless into it. The top five cards of your deck are placed in your graveyard. And pull this out. And in turn. And next turn our we'll have eight resources and we could use our patient zero if we wish. So our zombies endless hordes just leveled up substantially. Oh well, now we put out this, pull, um, pull out these two, put these two out to attack with, in turn, All right? Yes, in the turn. All right. We're going to lose one endless horde, but we'll kill both of theirs. Where we should, I think. Yep. Let's see. We only have one card to play, so let's go ahead and use our patient zero here. Activate him. Put him on the this one. And put these out here to attack. And end the turn. And we win the game. Nice and fast. So on to campaign segment two. After we see the result screen. Minus 14, only six to morale. Next mission. <laughs> yeah, the undead are nasty if the cards get if they get a favorable draw on their cards. A perfect society 
What could the source of such destruction, such pain? The answer lies in the one primal desire which cannot be conquered nor contained. People do crazy things when they're in love. All right, three points. So uh, let's bring out one end of the zombie in the turn. Okay. So we got four. We'll bring out another endless horde. Bring out one of these in the turn. Take the damage, I guess. We will fill the graves. Bring out the endless horde. Put out an en uh, two endless hordes. And in turn. Alright, next we will, let's see, bring out this, bring up this and this. And we will put this out to attack in the turn. There you go, killed it, killed it. Killed it and leveled up. So seven. One of these. A one of many exhumed. When one of many exhumed dies, put the top two cards of your deck into your graveyard. Little mini fill the grave type mobs. Bring out this. Alright, we'll put out this one here. Put all of these into the attack. In the turn. Bring out the endless, put the one of many here, bring these over for attack. Pull this one out and end the turn. So they should be going down very quickly now. Yep, next turn should be the end. Put that there, put this one here, here, and turn. This should kill him. Yep. It wasn't like a massive overkill, but we did win him. And they didn't get to do too much damage to us. Only eight points. So we're going to have time to get the third one in on this recording, on this casting. So, yep, only minus three, but it was good enough, and we did tear up their morale pretty good. So next mission. She had a secret, a secret of mortality, but it was no longer her secret alone. To share the weight of immortality, to spin an attorney hand in hand, side by side, Noble goals often have a steep price. The price of immortality was too high, not only for him, but the entirety of Avarok. Hmm, sounds like a really bad Romeo and Juliet. They took their whole planet with them, their whole nation. All right, in turn. All right, let's see. Bring out the endless and the scavenger. Put this one up the block in turn. Go ahead and fill the graves and pull this one out in the turn. All right, looks like it's entirely on the defensive. Confident Beast is defending. 
So let's attack there. Pull this one out. Put this one on to attack and end the turn. Pull out the one of many and our endless. Put these all up. Keep pushing the attack. Keep grinding them. Move this on over to attack two. And turn. Keen got through. One of many, endless horde. Put this, put this one out to kill Hakim. Put the one of many on to attack. Put this on to attack. In turn. And their defenses have fallen. They got a little damage on us. The one of many over here. This one of many here. It's here. Pull this one up. Pull this one out. In turn. Can't do anything with three points. If we don't have anything to reshuffle. Next turn we can like buy a card. Yep. Except there is no next turn. We kicked our butt. Alright. Well, thank you all for joining me for this three quick games. We are going to continue. The next game in this sequence is where we will once again switch back to our own deck. And we'll explore a Genesis deck, I think. So, thank you for joining us. I'll see you on the next episode.